don't rain. Call the sun to make the lawn go away. Our journey starts on May 9th. 1848. Yes. This was the day. The lawn mower was born. Meet the world's genius. John. Born in Maryland on. Yes. You guessed it. May 9th. 1848. He was the son of John and Anna Burr. As a young man, John worked as a mechanic repairing and servicing farm machines. With the help of affluent rich men, he was able to attend a private engineering university in Maryland, where he was among the best performing students of his class. He spent his 20s and early 30s working on his first invention while living in New York City. He obtained his first patent in 1885 for the shutter fastener, which was a device to be operated from the outside by a stream of water. It was supposed to make it easier for firefighters to extinguish fire without entering commercial buildings such as warehouses with iron shutters. However, this invention will have significant problems. One of them being that someone with a stick could gain access to a building equipped with these shutters. He spent another two years testing his invention before filing another patent on its improvement in 1887. But, this invention did not attract as many buyers. During the next 12 years, he will move to Massachusetts, where he will try again, to come up with something new, different, and useful. And in 1899, he finally had it. The patent to lawnmower. This invention will change the face of America and the world. Now, it's easier to have a lawn and keep it clean without a lot of efforts. John's invention was comprised of traction wheels, a rotary cutter, and a fully enclosed operating carrying, to avoid any obstruction from the grass, or other surrounding objects. He made a comfortable living with multiple royalty deals on his patent. Ten years later, the inventor will try to make our lives a little easier, when he received his fourth patent, for the, the pocket match safe. A device which delivered matches one at a time, and could be carried in a pocket. Although this invention was not as popular as the lawnmower, it led to the invention of casing for nail guns, cigarettes dispenser, dispenser of straw, and paper clips, and magazines for razor blade. The inventor spent the last year of his life, lecturing, and traveling. He died in 1910, of influenza. Thanks to John, our world has become a little greener.